The interesting thing about electricity is all these companies pushing it forward may actually fix climate. This is a big claim, but all of these companies, the top companies on earth right now, NVIDIA, OpenAI, Grok, Twitter, Google, Apple, all of these gigantic companies need to drive down the price of energy because energy is what allows them to succeed moving forward. What this means in terms of training and influence for large language models and AI in general, they want to make their algorithms as efficient as possible. If their algorithm is too lossy, it costs more to run. Every time I go to Claude and I run Opus 4.5, that is costing Anthropic a certain amount of money. They want to reduce that as much as possible. So they make their systems as efficient as possible because their margin is the energy cost. They need to drive that down as much as possible. At the same time, they're investing into sustainables and nuclear power in order to increase the amount of energy that is available. For decades, we've been like telling corporations to stop polluting and using so much energy. Now we've aligned clean energy production with their profit incentive. If they can get cheap energy abundantly without much waste, their profit goes up and shareholders are happy. We don't need to rely on them being trying to save the earth or being bleeding heart liberals. We do not need that anymore because we need them to be more efficient with aligned profit with the environmental incentive. Right now, it doesn't look like that because it's messy and everybody's just scaling as quickly as possible. But as soon as they start to hit that wall with energy, and the smart ones have already seen this, which is why they're investing into nuclear power. China is investing massively into sustainables. Then it for it's a force function on being more environmentally friendly. Not for good reasons, but for profit. In a weird way, they might actually pull us out of the death spiral of climate change. I know that sounds bizarre, especially as the energy centers are using a lot of energy, creating a lot of waste as well. But I think moving forward over the next five, 10 years, we're going to see that start to shift where they have to be more green and they have to generate more energy. So never rely on goodness of people's hearts, but do rely on a profit. As long as that's aligned, we might be okay. Claude says, it's not sustainable. We're going to hit a wall. The grid won't support the AI needs in development. China might win. Three years ago, Xi Jinping said, AI is a strategic national concern. Trump finally released the AI action plan, but Xi Jinping did this years ago. And part of this was also, hey, we need to get our energy. We need to get our energy in line. We need to not be reliant on other people for electricity. And we need the foundations and the infrastructure to grow our technology sector and artificial intelligence. For the last gosh, 20 years or so, they have just been investing into their infrastructure. So when we say the grid we have won't support AI needs and development, that's the American grid. That's the European grid. This is not an issue in China. They are ready.